हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर अर्पिता दे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विथ यू कॉलेरा टॉक्सिन एंड इट्स मेकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन कॉलेरा टॉक्सिन इज प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अ ग्राम नेगेटिव बैक्टीरिया कॉल्ड विब्रियो कॉलेरी द टॉक्सिन दैट इट प्रोड्यूसेस इज नोन एज कॉलेरा टॉक्सिन एंड इट इज एन एंटेरोटॉक्सिन दैट इज नोन टू कॉज terrible poisoning and it results into watery diarrhea in our body this enterotoxin is a multimeric protein with six subunits a and b subunits one a subunit and five b subunits and this a subunit is also got two parts to it a1 and a2 the ligand here is the cholera toxin itself and the receptor is the gangliosite receptors on the intestinal epithelial cells okay it is uh, gm1 which serves as the binding site for cholera toxin okay and is broken down by galactosidase now if you take a look at the diagram you will understand the beta subunit of cholera toxin binds to the receptor then after binding to the receptor endocytosis of the cholera toxin takes place and it travels to the endoplasmic reticulum via retrograde transport that is from golgi to endoplasmic reticulum okay the a1 domain detaches from the cholera toxin and enters into the cytosol the entire Uh, cholera toxin along with its a units and b units they are not getting into the cytosol which part is getting into the cytosol the a1 domain that gets detached from the uh, cholera toxin molecule and enters into the cytosol and binds to the g protein hmm this is called adp ribos ribosylation of g protein see uh, addition of one or more uh, gdp ribose moieties to a protein is called adp ribosylation okay what happens here see this adp ribosylation of g protein locks it in its active state or gtp bound state okay and this results into high production of cyclic amp right see after this adp ribosylation of g protein what happens activation of adenyl cyclase occur as adenyl cyclase gets activated huge amount of uh, cyclic amp is formed from atp now this goes and activates protein kinase a which in turn phosphorylates the cftr cftr means the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator hmm. and this causes the efflux of fluids and salts from the body which is manifested in the form of watery diarrhea this causes heavy loss of fluid from the body and electrolyte imbalance in the system okay the protein kinase a actually causes the opening of ion channels leading to secretion of chlorides bicarbonate so this ultimately causes a lot of dehydration in the body of the patient as uh, as well as electrolyte imbalances right so basically what happens here the gtps activity gets inhibited it stops that is why that uh, gtp bound state is maintained that means it remains active and it keeps on uh, production of cyclic amp in very high quantity okay so this is the brief mechanism of action of cholera toxin i hope you have enjoyed the lecture if you have any confusion please feel free to get back to me in the comment section till then thank you